Watch me dance channel this is the first video of the year on this channel so yeah if you can't tell I'm sick um I just have a little cold it's not COVID so don't worry crybabies um yeah anyways uh let's get started with this video um so I'm gonna be reading the questions from my other phone so question number one is for my friend Matthew and he asked what are your plans for 2022 Um, besides moving, um, getting a job, and, you know, starting a normal life, hopefully. And hopefully not being sick anymore and in pain all the time. Oh, by the way, the theme of this uh, Q&A is New Year's themed. So that's why a lot of these questions are going to be about New Year's stuff. Okay, next question is from my friend Joshua. Would you raise a clone of yourself from being a baby, and do you feel that you would change how you were raised if you did? Um, I wouldn't want to raise a clone of myself, but if I were to, uh, yes, I'd probably change the way I was raised just a little bit more uh, LGBT friendly, so yeah. Uh, next question is from my friend Stretch, and he said, where do you see yourself in 2023? We haven't even made it to 2022 yet, as of right now. When I post this, will be in 2022, but he asked me about 2023. Uh, I see myself in Mississippi, and uh, I see myself working and stuff, um, possibly being single, possibly still with my boyfriend, I don't know. That decision is still being made, so yeah. Anyways, moving on. Uh, next question is from my aunt Sandy, and she said, do you think the new year will be better than this year was. I hope so. Um, do I think it's going to be better? No. Do I hope it's going to be better? Yes. I have a lot of health issues going on and I'm not sure if they're fixable. Um, another thing is that I didn't explain. As I said, I was quitting YouTube last year due to my health things. But it seems like my health things aren't as bad as I thought they were. So that's why I'm continuing making YouTube videos. Okay, now the next question is for my sister's friend, Crystal. She said, where do you see yourself in five years? I think I get this question every video, but in five years, I think I'm going to be dead. M my health is not good. And then she also asked what makes you happy. Um... Doing things that I like, like YouTube makes me happy, watching wrestling, playing Fortnite with friends, just like simple little things. Music. Uh, she said, what is one word or phrase for the year 2022? I'm gonna die. That's my phrase. <coughs> wow, sorry. She also asked, what are five things you're grateful for? And I can't list family or friends. I'm grateful for music, for animals. Um, I'm grateful for video games. I'm grateful that I have a platform like YouTube. Hopefully I actually make something of it this year. And I'm thankful that I'm not homeless. I could end up homeless this year if Mississippi goes wrong, but let's hope it doesn't. Um, the next question is from uh, one of my friends on Snapchat, Daniel. I think that's his name. I have him as a nickname, so I don't know what his real name is. I'm pretty sure it's Daniel, though. He said, do you think the woman should get a medcart belt? So, if you don't know wrestling, a midcard belt is like a belt that's not as prestigious as the main belt, but it's still a title. And yes, I think the women should have one because the tag titles aren't doing nothing for them. The next question is from my friend Matt. He also asked a WWE related question. He said, What's your favorite WWE show? I think he means brand. And my favorite brand is Raw. SmackDown's blue, but Raw has a better roster. It used to be NXT though, but NXT has flopped since it went to 2.0. Um, the next question is from my friend Annika. She said, what is one thing that you're looking forward to in the new year and why? 
Um, I'm looking forward to moving because I hate this place. It's too hot and the people here are fake. Um, and her next question, because she asked two. She said, what is your New Year's resolution if no one's asked you this already? Um, well, one of them is uh, to make a decision about me and my boyfriend. So there's that. Sis must have not watched my YouTube video about New Year's resolutions. Um, the next question is from my friend Amber. Um, wow, okay, she asked, are you going to block Onomoka next month after you move? Um, yes, I'm planning on blocking Annika and a few other people when I move because um, my, camera, my camera rudely cut me off because I was full of storage. Um, anyways, it's just better for my mental health cutting out certain people. <laughs> <clears throat> Damage my mental health or just plain fake, so. Yeah, Annika's not the only one though. Um, next is from my friend Justin. He says, explain why you're an anti-vaxxer and why you love Trump. Um, I don't love Trump. I didn't even vote for him as a president. He was better than Biden, but I didn't vote for him. I voted for the third party. And I'm an anti-vaxxer because I don't know what damage the vaccine does. It's not long enough to have proof of it being good. Like, it might be good for now, which is what <clears throat> America seems to love. Like, it's not hurting you now. So it's fine, but it could hurt you in the future. Uh, next, we have questions from my friend Kat. She asked three. She asked first. Uh, what do you expect 2022 to be like since I'm moving out of state? Um, it's going to be new for sure. I hope it's fun. And uh, expect... Um, some more vlogs so yeah uh then she asked if i'm jealous of jenny no she has ugly teeth jenny is from blackpink by the way um she's my least favorite member favorite member and she's cat's favorite and then her last question was do you think justin is a good singer even though we haven't heard him no he probably sings like the sing brothers from wwe this next question i think is from my friend luke the name cut off, so I don't I don't remember who this was, but I think it's Luke. He said, what are you looking forward to next year? And do I have any major functions, plans, goals, or resolutions for next year? Um, I want to get into shape and get more healthy for my plans. And what I'm looking forward to next year is moving. Um, the next question is from one of my family members, and I'm not sure how we're related. I just know we're related. Uh, his name is Mark, and he asked, did I... Use the bathroom today. Um, I think I did when I woke up, and that was it. And that was a TMI. Nasty question. Anyways, moving on. Uh, my dad asked, what is my favorite age and why? Uh, I'd say my favorite age is probably when I was like, oh, this is a hard one. Probably 14. Everything was like fun still, and I did things, and... I wasn't suicidal yet, and I went to the Bangers concert with my sister Brandy, and it was just a fun time. Next question is from my mom. She asked, Are you going to try to change my health habits, like eating better and exercise? And that is a yes, I have to, because I don't want to keep being sick. So I have to for force myself to eat stuff I don't want to. My phone keeps, you know, stopping recording because I'm out of storage, so I'm sorry that that keeps happening. This next question is from one of my cousins, Jason. He said, what are you doing for New Year's? Are you going to have any games or fun activities? Um, my friend Miracle is supposed to be coming over and we're going to spend our last, you know, hang out together watching WWE Day 1, so... That's going to be sad, but fun. Um, the next question is from my friend Avery on Snapchat. And she said, what are you doing on New Year's? And I literally just said that, so. Go look at that. Um, the next question is from my ex, Tava, And she said, what's my craziest New Year's? And I haven't really had a crazy New Year's. 
um, probably when I was a kid then, like probably around 8 or 10, me and my next door neighbors, we were friends, and we'd go to my dad's friend who lived next to them, so two houses down from me, and we'd go out and bang pots and pans and do all that. It'd be loud and annoying. Sorry that I keep like touching my head and scratching it. Whenever I talk, it hurts. Like it feels like it's pounding. I don't know if that is cold or sinuses, or allergies or what. I hope I don't have ALS. Um, next question is from my friend Miracle. She said, does my family know I'm moving and am I excited for moving? Yes and yes. Um, my family has to know I'm moving because, you know, I I'm taking all my stuff from their houses. And uh, of course I'm excited to move because like I said, I hate it here. It's too hot and fake people. The next question is from my boyfriend and he said, How about that 66 Dodge? And he's referring to his truck, which we are taking to get out of here. And how about it? Well, let me tell you, it's not finished. So it better be finished by the time we move. But it's a cute color. Um, another one of my exes, Skylar, she asked, what accomplishments do you want to do for New Year? I probably butchered that anyways. Uh, losing weight, cutting off the right people, and making a decision with my boyfriend. I've mentioned that a lot of times in this video, so. A lot of these questions have been the same. Um, next, my sister Brandy asked, what are you most excited for in the new year? What is something that you want to accomplish in the new year? Uh, I want to accomplish getting lots of YouTube views and subscribers and making a living off of it. And I'm excited for moving. My friend Savannah slash Rose, she asked, what am I doing for the new year? And already said that multiple times. I don't feel like saying it again. Um, the next question is from my sister Sarah. She said, what are new life goals? That was her first question and um, getting healthy is one of them. Then she said, do you plan on building better relationships in the new year? Sort of. I don't really want to make any new friends where I'm going. I'm tired of friends. Everybody's just fake. Like, majority of people are fake. So, if I meet one or two friends out there, like Miracle, then sure. But other than that, not really. The next, she asks, what are things are, that are motivating you for the new year? Um, my deteriorating health is motivating me to become a healthier person. And uh, my will to get out of here is making me want to work and do something with my life. So, yeah. And then she asked if I'm excited for change. Yes, I want to get out of here. I hate it here in this Florence, Arizona. The last two questions are from my new Fortnite friend. Her name is Mel. And um, she's probably been waiting to hear her question this whole video. So here is her first question. What's something new you learned about yourself this year? Um, I learned that I get tired of people very fast. And I also learned that my health is in bad shape and then she asked me what are goals for next year that was her second question and like i said multiple times in the video losing weight and working on my health cutting off the right people and either making it work with my boyfriend or leaving him oh that kind of ended on a sad note anyway thanks for watching this video guys thanks for everybody who sent in questions i appreciate it um we'll see what this new year brings and uh yeah, uh, help me reach 500 subscribers this year. That's all I'm asking for, 500. Not 1,000, not a million, just 500. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that, and bye. Damn, watching me, gotta turn you on. I should have my own category in point. Ooh, I'm just such an obsession.